Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to study parts of speech. To study part of parts of speech, what do we think about like parts of speech? Whatever we are speaking is a part of our speech. Usually whenever someone wants to learn English, he or she commonly goes towards tenses. Um, tenses are very important. But to make up a sentence, we should have words and those words are falling into some category, some category that we should name and we have those names and those names are called parts of speech. So the topic of our lesson is parts of speech. All right. How many parts of speech we have? We have eight parts of speech. For example, whenever I say a word, a sentence, we have so many words, four, five, three, that are making up that sentence. So the words that are making up a sentence are called parts of speech. We have eight parts of speech. Those are we are going to write it one by one and then we will discuss them one by one as well. Number one is noun. After noun, we have pronoun. After that, we have verb, adverb, we have adjectives. Preposition, conjunction, and interjection. You can note down all parts of speech and then we can go towards noun in detail. Coming on to noun in detail, we have already heard the definition of noun as name of a thing, place, or person. Noun usually describes an action or quality of something, a category of a name, place, or a thing. It can be, it can be some car, it can be name of a specific car, Corolla. It can be a place, just like Barcelona. It can be anything. And the most important thing we have to learn about noun is that we have noun categories of nouns. That is counted and non-counted. Now, from the word counted, you have already analyzed that counted is something that we can count. So what are the things that we can count? Watch, marker, a board, cars. These are all counted nouns because we can count the quantities of all these things. But we have specific things that we cannot count. They, there may be some abstract something like mass that covers a mass but we cannot count it for example over here we can write cars glass 
our glasses and then for now non counted nouns we can write stars life if we take example from food we can have milk we can count milk for example any disease just like um measles and anything that is uncountable is counted as non counted noun then we have one more important thing and that is we also have double nouns have you ever heard of double nouns yes surely you must have heard of double nouns but you don't know that they are categorized into double noun so the next we are going to learn is double noun here comes double noun double means noun and that is two times yes whenever i heard of double noun i just directly think about noun that is two times because noun and that is double noun and noun a double noun is a noun that is countable as well as uncountable so combining these two makes up a double noun for example life we cannot count life but whenever we write a sentence it can appear as double noun for example life is a gift over here it is a non counted noun we cannot count life like which life how many life it's just like life is a gift and over the next sentence we can have is she leads a fulfilling life over here this life has a meaning it can be happy it can be dangerous it can be promising it can be sad but it certainly gives a meaning a meaning to a life describes a life but over here it is non counted here we have life as counted noun one thing one thing that's very important about non counted nouns are that we usually don't use a or an these specific articles we don't use them with non counted nouns but we do use the the word the article the whenever we write something in to show that this is something very specific the milk or the life whenever it is non counted the stars so these are something few things that are very important to know while learning parts of speech so today we have learned part eight parts of speeches and we learned noun in detail and in the next lesson we are going to learn pronouns